Hey, I'm Terex, and welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to um, basically get controller support for Adventure Quest 3D, and of course, this will work with any game that uh, does not have supported controller support. So, the first thing I find it easier is to do what I just did and basically put this into big picture mode. Uh, not everyone likes big picture mode, but it's easier. It will be easier to um, make changes on the fly that for the for the game. And I'm going to show you why is that. Uh, the first thing is to get your controller of choice. So you could either be an Xbox 360 controller, uh, Xbox One controller, PS4 controller, Nintendo Switch Pro controller, any controller. I know for Xbox 360 and Xbox One, I'm pretty sure you could just plug that right into your USB. It should work with uh, big picture mode. I'm not sure about PS4, but I know that the Xbox One and the PS4 and Nintendo Switch all could be worked uh, via via Bluetooth so if you have a computer that is Bluetooth capable or if you have a Bluetooth adapter you could use those to get your um, to get your controller working so the first thing you want to do is actually go into your settings you're gonna go to settings and you're gonna go into controller settings so right now I have a switch pro controller right now worked up and of course you have PS4 Xbox and or you could just use a generic gamepad if it's not one of the supported ones so we're gonna go back so once you get all that working if also if you have a switch pro controller I think you need to download the beta version of Steam at the moment as the at the time of re me recording this video to actually get it working because that's what I had to do so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go into um, what's it called you can go into Adventure Quest 3D. Now, of course, it says controller configuration required. This game wasn't designed for controllers. So, yeah. you're going to go into manage game now, and you're going to go into controller configuration. And, of course, this is what I have at the moment. I might tweak it a little bit, but this is currently what I have. And I'll show you how to do this. So, it says press Y for browse configuration. So, whatever that button is, you're going to hit that. And it's going to have all these things. Right now, there's no recommended because it doesn't have native controller support no personal no friends no one in the community has made one so you're gonna go to templates and you're gonna go to whatever button it says to show other controller types and it's gonna have a bunch of different controllers so I'm gonna go down to the one that I have done because most of these are for ones that already have built-in game support so you're actually gonna go down oh, I went a little too far so the one I right now I'm currently using is the key, or I started with was the keyboard uh, was in mouse so that's a pretty good place to start with your um, with your configuring it so you're gonna click that and it's basically going to uh, give you a little preview and then you can confirm that you actually want this so we're just gonna go back and I'm gonna show you what I have uh, currently right now so the left trigger uh, I actually it's weird the left trigger I have as the right mouse the right trigger I have as the left mouse so I'm gonna get the the, uh, the LB button I guess or the left bumper I'm gonna show you what it is this, this, this gibberish right now but I'm gonna show you what this all means and this one is the tab button so this one's gonna cycle the monsters you're gonna be able to cycle which monster you want using the tab function of course the this is also this is like default um, this button right here that's default I didn't change anything about that but it also is I guess acts as a tab button and this is also default this is gonna access the menu um, so you can just hit and it's gonna act as the escape button so this button is just basically just moving around uh, move it forward you can move it to left move it to right and it's gonna basically move you forward left right and then I also have it uh, if you press down on it which I guess would be considered the L3 button um, I have it set to the middle mouse button, which in the game uh, is defaulted to the auto run. So if you just press that, it's going to have you auto run. Now here is when things get a little complicated. So <clears throat> by default, I have it set to 2, 3, 4, and 5. Right? So you can only use up to 5 skills. But wait, but wait, Terex, there's more. So actually, if you... if 
right here it says left bumper directional pad. So let me click on that. So now it brings it to, so if I hold the left bumper, it's going to bring, I can actually hit other buttons. So it's going to have, um, when I hold the left bumper, I can use 6, 7, 8, and 9 on the directional pad. But if I don't have the left bumper, if I'm not holding down the left bumper, it's just going to be the uh, initial 2, 3, 4, and 5. So yeah, that's what this was before. So basically it's just telling you, hey, you hold it down and you get a new function for the directional pad. Um, the right one, I don't have something currently for it. So right now it just acts as a, um, a joystick mouse. So you can just move it around and it'll just act as like a mouse. And then here I have, right now it says X so, or Y, depending on if you have an X con Xbox controller or whatever. I added the zero, this way you get the full functions. Cause right now I, I guess they would have to do it to where you hold LB and maybe have like a, um, what's it called? <clears throat> I don't know, kind of like a circle um, selection choice. Um, y is to auto attack. And I have A, it's just another escape button currently, uh, which is good. Because I don't know why, but when I want to back out something, I usually hit either B on the Xbox controller or A. And then B is just to jump. So... Yeah, so let's get into the game. So basically, this is what I have right now, currently for it. So we're gonna go, we're gonna hit back, we're gonna hit back, and we're gonna hit uh, play. So this is gonna launch the game. Once again, it's just easier. I'm gonna show you why. Um, why it's good to you be in big picture mode for this when you're configuring everything. So yep, right now I'm just hitting the right. Um, right controller stick to, and it's going to act as a mouse because it doesn't have native controller support, so it's not going to lock on. It's not going to have you be able to select these things with like the directional pad or something. And we're going to hit play. So once again, I have the right trigger as a left mouse, so I'm going to be hitting that to actually <clears throat> be doing that. So yep, this is me moving around with the controller, and I could show you. Um, that I'm using a controller. So if you hit your home button on the controller, it's gonna bring up this menu. Mm -hmm. See what's cool about this, and the reason why I wanted you to be in big picture mode is so you can actually do this. You can have full controller support. And you can go into your con um, back into your you know your controller mm -hmm. configuration. And so you can change things on the fly. So you're not like, oh you know what this doesn't really work. This doesn't I, I don't really like this. You can go, you know, click the home button, click on this, and you can change what you want on the fly, and then just go back in the game and check it out. And this one is toggle controller hood. So this will show me what I'm pressing. So I'm moving. So if I go forward on the left, it's going to show me basically everything that I'm currently pressing, or would be pressing on a keyboard and mouse. So if I do actually, this is me actually on a keyboard and mouse, it doesn't show that. But here it shows that. So let me just turn that off. Just I just wanted to show you guys. So now it's off. <clears throat> so once again, the right bumper is tab. So I could select all these monsters. If I want to hit one, so if I want to do auto attack, I'm going to hit the, the Y button or the X button on the Xbox. And I'm going to be attacking. You know? So do that. Oh, I want to use my second skill. I'm going to hit up on the directional pad. But wait, I want to use, I don't know, um, transform into number, my, uh, my six, my monster, or my, uh, my morph, which is the six button. So I'm going to hold LB, and I'm going to go up on the directional pad. Boom. The only one that is kind of confusing is the, I have to hit X for the zero one, but that's about it. So you can use all of this. Um, I recommend them actually doing the what I did, which is the LB. I didn't know that they were going to initially um, add more skills. Because <laughs> when I first suggested controller support, I just said, hey, hold LB and then click one of the ones on the directional buttons. Or bring a prompt that says, hey, you up on the directional pad is this, right on the directional pad is that. So stuff like that. But um, yeah, that is Adventure Quest 3D um, with controller support until we actually get it natively 
But once again, this could work with any game. So just go into the game menu and you go into controller configuration and you can basically map out all the different types of games. I mean, map out, yeah, for all the games you can map out uh, different controller configurations. But anyway, guys, hopefully you found this helpful. Hit a like, hit a dislike if you didn't like it uh, on the video and subscribe for more. I'm, I do a lot of Adventure Quest 3D and Arctic Entertainment. And I'm also Nintendo Switch stuff. So uh, yeah, subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.